Okay, let's look at question six. This is very simple and straightforward. We'll just get into it. So we want to show that the left is equal to the right hand side. So I'll start with the first one. So we have n zero plus n one plus n two. So I've been looking at these questions and it's taken me weeks. I just look at them. Uh, I don't know how to handle them. And but today I just sat down and said, ah, let me try to answer them. And then I just discovered this is very simple and I thought it is. Yeah. So even in exams win, just because you've never seen a question doesn't mean that you can't solve it. Okay. So I don't know how to manipulate the left hand side, but let me manipulate something that looks easier. Since we are dealing with binomial expansions, I can express two in terms of addition. So our right hand side, our right hand side is equal to two n. Now two n is the same as what? One plus one, right? Raise the power n. Let's try to use the binomial expansion to expand that. So our right hand side becomes we know it, the first part will be n choose zero and then to be one n minus zero. Remember we are still using the same formula that is uh, if you're going to have a plus b raised to the power n okay the formula is for any term it's see, n choose r and then you understand that a will be the difference and then b will be to be just the power r so that's what we're trying to do there so n minus zero one to the power zero plus n choose one one n minus 1, 1 to the power 1, n choose 2, 1 n minus 2, 1 to the power 2, plus dot dot. The final term, which is n choose n, is going to be 1 raised to the power n minus n, and then that will be 1 raised to the power n. So you know that is ones raised to any powers, they still remain ones, right? Okay, so this will just mean that we're going to remain if n choose zero plus n choose one plus n choose two plus until we get to the last term, which is n choose n. So we can now see that the left hand side has become equal to the right hand side. So left hand side is equal to right hand side ends shown. Now with the basics that I've given you, um, you are now at liberty of of looking at the last one. Yeah? So now the last one is dealing with a bit of some subtraction here and there. And so we can just edit this one slightly. There is a negative, there is this plus as it is. And so, so what we have is eh, a minus, an addition, a minus, again a minus, zero. This one I didn't even try it on paper. This is, I was just trying to think of it as I'm hoping it works out the same way that the first one was worked out. So feel free to pause the video and try it out. I can give you a hint. When you've got a zero, think of it as expressing it in terms of an addition, in terms of binomial. Zero can be expressed as one minus one, right? So our right hand side is equal to zero. Zero is the same as one minus one. Now I'll bring back the power n, right? Okay. So what does that how does that come out there? How does it come out? So if we try to proceed in the next step, we'll see n choose 0. And then the first part will be 1 will be raised to the power n minus 0. And then the other part, which is now negative 1, as we can see from the expansion there, negative 1 will be raised to the power 0 as well, plus n choose 1. 
and then 1 raised to the power n minus 1 negative 1 raised to the power 1 plus n choose 2 1 n minus 2 negative 1 raised to the power 2 now you know that any time or every time that you raise uh, a negative to an even power the answer is always a positive right and so we understand that is going to give us a positive and then essentially after that positive there the next part is going to be an odd which will be a negative and that's where that dot is coming from and that will continue exchanging until we get to the last one okay <clears throat> so obviously that's what we expect and then n choose n we are going to look at that it's going to be one n minus zero and then here you understand that for the last one where we have negative one now in fact that's not n minus zero <laughs> it will be n minus n for the last one n minus n and then you have a negative one which is going to be just the power n now of course the last one is dependent on the value of n that you're dealing with it's an even power odd that will determine the sign but we we'll just assume or it remain the way it is in other terms so what we have at this point you can see for the first part again we've already emphasized to say one raised to any power it just remains a one but now the negative in this case is playing a different row so negative one is the power zero now that is a positive you have to be careful there so that would be n zero for a second one now where negative one is raised to the power one that clearly gives us a negative and then n choose one then this one negative one is raised to the power two so that gives us a positive n two now the next number obviously after the second term, the third term is going to be an a three which is of course an odd number and a negative one is that number we are going to get a negative and this will continue swapping that's what this implies negative dot dot negative and then n choose n so now you can see that the right hand side equally in this case is equal to the left hand side and so that's it for question six very easy to show just try to understand what's given on either the right and the left and which one are you able to manipulate easily that will help you make a decision on what you need to focus on.